If you're seeking more of a trick than a treat this Halloween, get a good scare. It could benefit your health. Brooke Katz explains why you might want to consider a horror movie or a trip to a haunted house this year. I want werewolves and I want dragons and I want goblins and witches. <laughs> The stuff of your nightmares can be found at Dark Hour Haunted House in Plano. You're going to have, you know, at some point something reaching for your feet. You're going to have uh, something that blends into the environment, and then you're very surprised to find out it's a person. Alan Hops is the senior director. What do you think is the psychology behind haunted houses and why they are such a popular phenomenon? All of those things that scare us and wear on us. Mortgage, student loans, debt, um, society pressure, all of that stuff, it's, it's in you, you know, but it's not something you can scream about. That's ridiculous. So you come here, we put a face on that, and it's a relief valve. And there may be something to that. A study from earlier this year involving more than 300 participants found those who are fans of horror movies are coping better during the pandemic. We enlisted UT Dallas researcher Krista McIntyre Rodriguez to explain. Every time you know somebody jumps out and you scream, then you immediately laugh because we know we're in a safe place. So that that safe scare is what we really crave. So we decided to put the safe scare to the test, taking on dark hour ourselves. <laughs> there was jumping and gasping. Okay, right? Oh, no. Screams <laughs> and finally laughs. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that as we went through, I know that I yelled a lot, I screamed a lot, and I let out a lot of tension that maybe was pent up for a while. <laughs> she says, in a way, a haunted house is similar to the exposure therapy done in an office setting. We experienced that sympathetic fight or flight response where our heart rate increases, you know, and our lung capacity increases, and our blood flows to our striated muscles so we can run fast if we have to, and we're very alert. Uh, and, and all of that can actually feel pretty good and empowering for people if they know that they're actually safe. So don't misunderstand, it's no replacement and certainly not for everyone. And then there are those like Hops. For him, it's the thrill of the scare, the screams of his patrons. There's a monster in my head, and then I can make it for real and see it walking around and see other people react to it. I think that's the most powerful feeling in the world that I had something in my head, and now other people are reacting and responding to it. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News. All right, so who's going to the haunted house, huh? <laughs> Parents, listen to this. Doctors say your teens are the most likely to seek out experiences like haunted houses or even horror movies. Say it's a developmental stage, and kids are learning to take risks and get out on their own, and this can actually be good for them.